Hello and welcome back to Panting of the Geeks. Uh, we're back sooner than expected. We have the Numinous Oculum to unbox today. We were that impressed by the Dragon, what was it, Dragon Fate, Dragon Fate Dias, Dias that we showed, um, showed on Saturday that uh, we went at straight out and, and we, we bought, bought ourselves for a change rather than just borrowing one uh, from somebody else. We actually bought ourselves some of the scenery because we wanted to see what this one was like. It just looked nice when we saw yeah. it in the shop. We were like, hmm. <laughs> so I decided I wanted the scenery for myself because yeah. it looks cool. So, this is the box. It's much bigger than the Dragon Fate one. Yeah. Because the uh, box art, there we go. Mm. So it looks bigger on the back than the actual picture of it. But let's actually get it open because it's bursting out of the box quite literally. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's pull this out. This is on sprues. Oh. This is different from the, the dais. So, here's a sprue. Mm. Oh, some more sprues. One. There's another sprue. And there we go. So this this again feels like different plastic. It feels quite heavy actually, that bit does. Yeah, this, this feels different to the uh, the dais. You see this is how I thought cool. it would be. The, it actually uh, looks just as cool. Yeah. That relief. That is awesome. That reminds me a lot of reliefs I've seen in other things. I was looking on the box before. And it occurred to me it looks like if you ever played Skyrim. It reminds me of a relief that you see in Skyrim, just which has got dragons on, obviously, and people fighting them. But kind of, it's the same sort of thing. I like that. It's cool. And there's the other side. So this looks like it's a, a dual-sided thing as well. Oh, right. So you can have it one way or the other. By the looks of it, yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe you can. Oh, that's a difficult choice, because I like them both. <laughs> what are they ace on? <laughs> cool. So there we go. So let's have a look at this then. Let's stick it together as we normally do. The guide. Um, might be helpful if we have the clippers. Yeah, okay, so we are back and the sprues have no numbers on. So what we've done, Claire decided that it was a good idea just to cut all the bits off, clean them up, which we have done. There's quite a bit of um, mould lines that need to clean off all these. I'm covered in bits of plastic now, but every bit had mould lines on. I had to clean off just around the edges, nothing on the actual facing detail. That's fine. Um, so because they're not numbered, we're just going to go through and match this the sort of shapes to the correct. Things. Yeah, it'll be yeah. like a crystal maze puzzle. List, I think. I think it'll be alright. There's not that many pieces. Every no. piece seems a bit different. So. Yeah, so I think we should be fine. So, so I think let's start with part me. Which looks like it's got a moon on. That one. Which is the one there. And part in it, which looks like it's got. I bet it's that one. No. No, it's not one. It's not. Oh, that one. The sun yeah. on. And on the opposite yeah. sides of these, if you're following us with this guide, it has the beasties on that look a bit like griffins with fish tails. Yeah. I'm not sure what they are. No. They're like sea creatures kind of thing. So there's some. I think there's something similar on like the Bretonian shields. Oh, right. Uh, one of the transfers. It looks very similar. But they're meant to be like mythical creatures, if you read the thing. Right. And that uh, no longer exist, apparently. Oh, and if, when you tied these up, these mythical creatures bite. So be careful. I stabbed <laughs> myself on, on my thumb yeah. on that when I was cleaning that bit off. So just be careful. Those bits are sharp, where the tails are. They are like daggers. Right, so these two bits go together, and then we have these little base pieces, which I seem to... I think that one goes on your side. To slot on, so that will go like that. Is that correct? Um, so it looks like that. Yeah. Bit there. And then there should be a, another I one. I think it's that one, isn't it? Looking at the. How many have we got? That number one there. I don't think it's that one. I think it's that and one. And then we've got some small bits like this, yeah. line of eight. So. Personally, I think it's that one. Uh, it looks most like that one. There's a little chip missing yeah. out there. And there's a little. Yeah. So Box we're going to go with that. It doesn't look right there, though, does it? But let's get these two bits together. We know those bits go together. And then we shall see what fits on. No, it's not that bit. It's that one. It's that and that. What's that it? makes more sense. Yeah. 
So it's not I, the... I didn't see the little... There's a little uh, nick in that kind yeah. of thing. So it's not the bit that has a little bit of pillar on. Sorry, it's uh, that bit there. That bit there. For this side. So this is going to take some gluing together as well. It's a big, thick piece. So that just glues on there like that by the looks of it. That's going to take some holding on to do that. And then these bits will just go on the bottom by the looks of it. I think so, yeah. Is, is there any sort of indentations where they, they fit in? Uh, doesn't appear to be so. so. Unless that lines up with that wall. Or the wall right. on the other side, I would think. Does that line up with that yeah, one? so the yeah. rubble lines up on either side of the wall so it fits into that groove there. Okay, so I'm going to have to wait for this to set and then we'll put the bottom bits on and then we'll be back. Okay, so that goes together like that. There is a gap there which might need filling. So on the picture on the front, there's nothing covering that, but in the instructions, we have this little scroll work here and it goes that way around with the little figure eight on its side at the bottom and the one that looks like a little bit like a heart or an A can't remember what that looks like or a Q a wobbly Q I don't know that goes at the top and that fits onto there so we're going to stick that on next I suppose you can leave it off if you want to. Yeah. It might be an optional kind of thing if it's not If on. you do leave it off, you're probably going to have to fill the gap with some green stuff. Yeah, it's not even on the box. It's not on the box, Art. If you look so. there. That's just plain. It would be there. With a little bit of blood. That looks fine, but you will have to fill that. Because there is a bit of a big gap. Well, personally, I think it looks quite swish with that on. i probably still got to fill part of it. Oops. Yeah, because yeah. it, it kind of covers the line, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't go together very well, I'm afraid. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's not as... Um, so that'll yeah. go on there, like, so... Yeah, it's, it's I'm going to have to wait for that to set properly yeah. before we move on. But when we move on, we'll be starting with the first part of the glow, which are these parts with the wings on. So we'll be back. And yeah, then we left that for a little while. Seems to have set a bit better. The gaps I managed to close the gap a little bit as well. There's still a gap down the other side that's going to need to be filled before I spray it. So next we're on to these bits. So these bits are the wings to the beasties there. So that join will go on to that side. As Claire pointed out, put this side on first because there's a little bit there, which this side should slot into like that. So do this side first for a bit easier. So we'll get that bit on and see how easy this is. <laughs> well it's super heavy plastic. Okay. I'm guessing it goes not. So we're fitting that on there like that. Does that look okay? Looks alright to me. From your side? Yeah, looks alright. Just a bit of a gap to fill There's in there. a little bit of a gap. Okay. So I might wait for that to set. Mm. And okay, so the other side should line up there as well. And then that bit slots into the so let's just glue that in and see if it goes alright and um, I should be back okay, so that kind of makes this sort of like a little bowl yeah, the bottom part of this sphere the final part, which Claire's got in her hand of this bit is the stars motif so there's only one of these that should fit in between these two so something like that something which like is that. just falling yeah. through yeah, I can see where it goes though right, so I'll position this off camera on the back so there we go, that's the uh, the bottom part of the glove done. I've had to hold that for quite a while. It doesn't go together very well. There are gaps all over it. It doesn't it doesn't sock it in as well as the uh, the dais does. Yeah. It's um, that's it's, what I was trying to it say before. It takes some it's not as to uh, keep it in place. It's not as straightforward as what no. the dais was. It's 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 going to take a lot more clinging up, a lot more faff around, and a lot longer to put together. So you need a, a bit more experience uh, 
to put this together. Mm. Not loads, but just a little bit more. Because the Dragon Fate dice just went plong 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 and it was yeah, together. Yeah, it was just really quick that one. This, you're going to have to I think hold it's it. going to be... Because these bits here do not join up properly no. at all. Um, and I have cleaned them off, so there is no little bit of stopping them from sticking together. This is how it goes. It does feel a little bit... Uh, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. Rushed. Rushed. Cheaper. Cheaper. Um, than the diets. It's it's fine so far though, and it is scenery, so you never expect it to be quite as well detailed as models. But so far, it looks good so far actually. But mm. it's just been a bit of a pain to hold together because we've been going off camera for quite a bit, and we will be back in a second because we need to wait for this to dry properly before we move on so uh, that's still not quite dry enough so when we come back we'll do the top part and then we'll put the spikes on it okay and we're back and I've green stuffed that because the gaps in there were really annoying me so I mean once the floor's in and covering that up you won't really see much of that anyway but I wanted to get rid of the gaps because they were annoying me So. Uh, we now need to move on to the top part of the dome. There's a bit of a flash still off in there. Oh. There we go. Right, so the first part is this bit here, which looks like a sun, a little cog type thing. Ooh, dial in it. Dial, that's a better word, yes. And that bit goes on there, does it? It does, yeah. So that bit fits into that bit there. Yeah. And um, this bit goes bit down. Fits in there. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to turn this round. Let's so see what I'm doing. That should just fit on there. He says dropping it. I'm <laughs> dropping it in the bowl. That's so you good. could use that for um, oranges and apples and. We've got a bigger one of these, yeah. You could do. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Sigma doesn't approve. Um, Aww. <laughs> Grumpy god that he is. He is a bit. Still, he's lost his armour at the moment. Oh, what a shame. So I think he finds it next week. Oh. Um, right, so that's that side. Right. Um, and then we have... Let me figure this bit out. The middle bits... The bit that looks like a comet. So it's that bit. That way. It goes that way. Like that. Like so. So we'll see if we can get this bit on. Can he not just go to B&Q and buy himself a hammer? No, it has to be uh, Gold Miraz or Gal Miraz or... Well, could he not just buy one from B&Q and call it Gal Miraz? I suppose he could. It wouldn't be the same then, would it? It's his own hammer, he's always at it. Mm. Oh, come on, you. Yeah. Not that bit in. I really want to place so. that. Are we on? Are we in? Yeah, Oops. I think that's. Oh, no. no. Right, so this is going to be fiddly as well, so we'll try on. Okay, so that's that bit on. And finally, we have. That bit. The other side, where it should fit. In there somewhere, probably popping everything out. So I'm not going to do this on camera, I'm going to do it off camera and make sure it's all in place. That way I don't shout and swear. So I'm backing him. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of as together as I'm going to get it. Um, there's plenty of gaps in there. That's probably going to, I'm going to rely on the glue to stick that together. Um, right, so we've got these spikes next. In the instructions, we've got a spike at the top. Spike there and a spike there. So that's quite simple because of these little in indentations right over the top. And the spikes have got these little bits there. So they're just going to go on there. So you need to glue them on. So I'm going to do that. Um, okay, so we've got three spikes on there. Oops, there and there. Mm -hmm. So next, we need to swizzle this around. And we have the 
wall which will go in here. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So this can go either way around, you can have it that way up or you can have it that way up with the cool sort of skull and the A symbol for whatever that means. Uh, Angron. Angron. It's A for Angron. A little comic symbol for Sigma. So we're going to go with Sigma. Sorry Angron, I tried. And uh, that apparently fits in there. So we will need to find a way to get that in there. Does it I don't groove. think it does. I think it just clicks into the two grooves. It's two gro yeah. Right, so it doesn't fit at all, basically. Because that is out of line with it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that would go there, would it? It would do, yeah. yeah. It clips in the two grooves. Okay, right. So that's out of line. <laughs> yeah, so that's out of line. So we'll have to figure out how to get that on. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that and we'll get to this. Right, so there we go. So I literally had to hold that in place for ages while it dried and sort of like put equal points of pressure on either side of this while trying to keep it level. Not easy. Um, I would probably advise anyone who is putting this together to put these two bits of wall on right at the beginning and then put this in first because this will make sure your wall is at the right angle straight away. It might be a bit faffier to get this on, but you could also put this whole bit together first, like almost like a jigsaw puzzle, before you stick it onto the wall. I would advise anyone having a go at this, that might be a good idea to do, but I'd definitely stick this floor bit on at the very beginning. Um, it would be difficult to get any green stuff in, but then again, hopefully by doing that it would stop any gap as well from forming. So, hopefully that's in place now. Right, so the next piece is actually the next bit of wall, which is this bit here with the reliefs on it. And uh, then we have this bit here as the base. I'm going to push this out of the way for a second. So, uh, that bit of pillar. Goes to the back, does it? Uh, yep. Is that correct? That's correct. And then you've got the side with the moons and the stars on on the side where the pillar is, and that glues on the by the looks of it. Yeah. So that's flat. There's little bits in here that just circular bits that you can line it up with. Is there? Yeah. Where's that? There's a little bit there. Yeah. Oh, that bit there. there, yeah. Where the column hits. Yeah. Ah, right. And the point at the end should hit the point of that end there. We can only pray. Let's look at it from this side, actually. The oh, hardest thing is to make sure this wall's straight. Because that point doesn't line up. No. If you line the pillars up, so. It's a case of holding that in place until it sets. So again, camera off and we're back. Okay, so there we go. So that's pretty much lined up. So the next thing that we're going to have to do are these pillars. So we have one pillar here, which is that one by the looks of it. It's got this sort of like broken arch going on. Then we have the part that go that goes on, which would be is it this one? Have you got any others? Anything? Well, yeah, we have. We've got that one, and then we've got that one, and we've got that one, which is small. That one. And we got another small one there. It's that one. It's that one? Yeah, if you look at the rocks there. There? Yeah. Yeah, it just kind of match. So that will go on here. In that circular bit there. Like that. So the point again goes on the end. Yeah. So that one's going to go on there. So 
we know those three are together. And then here it says times two, and there's two of these. So these are optional anyway by the looks of it. And these appear to go with these ones that have got this sort of like vine. motif, oh, yeah. vine motif. And those two are very similar, but they'll go on there. And then we've got the two smaller ones by the looks of it, which will have these beasties attached to them. And again, the corner bit's going to go to the points. Yeah. And that one's going to go oh, by the looks of it. So what we'll do, we'll put all these together uh, and make sure they've set. And how we'll okay, so um, originally we said that these pillars fit on here. They actually don't. It's these smaller ones, these little ones that they fit on. So, like so. Mm -hmm. So yeah. these bulbous things, they go on that. Yeah. And the larger ones are for them. Yeah, which yeah. makes it fit a bit better than... Will you stop turning it around? So sorry. <laughs> I can't turn it around. You can. Right, so that'll go on that. Yeah. And that's how those fit. Yeah. Okay. So that was probably the easiest part of sticking those pillows on. <laughs> yeah. Um. So now on this bit of the, of the guide, it actually shows you three ways you can build this. So because it's like a multi-part bit, you can actually build it so the wall comes in and gives you this little enclosed space. You can have it so the wall is a straight line, so it just follows on, or you can have it so that it goes in this shape, which is the shape on the front box, and then the following instructions tell you how to put it together like this. Um, but as you can see there, you use different little bits, you use these, the beastie things on the end there, but on this one you don't. But we'll follow th through the same process we've been doing. And we shall continue with this one and build it like it is on the box. I think it looks quite good. In the shape, shape actually. In, in the shape that's meant to be on the box. Especially if you get the um, Orphidian archway. Yeah. I mean that one looks pretty good. Well, it's just in, just that shape. Yeah. And this sort of like... Sort of like a... What an L, is it? An L? Well, it's like a... a squiggle. Squiggle. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's like an L shape. That's yeah. pretty good. That one... Yeah. I don't like that one because... No. It'll be... Hard to paint because no, well, no, yeah, it would be harder to paint, but um, on a battlefield, you know, it's like a little nook, yeah. And now, in Age of, Age of Sigma, I kind of like open ideas so you can get models onto things, so I kind of like these two, I think. Mm. Uh, so we'll continue with this. So, starting with the big Oculus part, and then we have this wall. Then. Which looks like it connects to the at an angle like that. Um, so we'll need to glue that on there. Then we're going to have one of these beasties, which will go on there. The beastie and then the other beastie on the other. goes on the other side. Is that correct? Like that. Like that. So that will have to connect. Yeah. So that connects fine. Yeah. Because you got the little yeah. nodules there, and that will connect like and that. that. And then we've got. This pillar will go there. Is that right? I assume so, yes. The other pillar with the bulbous sort of claw end goes, goes on the outside. outside. And, and the that one that's one. got like the broken archway goes like that. And that. And then we've got these little bits of. So I would say you base. want to take that way. So the little bit is going to go there. Yep. Yeah, and that bit goes there. That bit goes there. Mm. Put comet side up. Yeah, comet side up. Because, like that, because yeah. we're going to keep comet side up yeah. as a theme. I suppose if you have the other side, you'd turn it over. Yeah, to you that keep. One. I think the uh, the Fidian archway has got the same sort of motifs on. Yeah. But I like. I think I like the comets. Yeah, it looks like. I a like map. the scrolls, but I like. I like. Yeah, because like you say, it looks like a map. Looks like an old map. Like an old map. So I like that. So that's how that's going to go together. So rather than do each individual little stage, uh, we're going to put this together. And then we'll be back with you when it's finished. Okay, so we've got this together now. Um, all these bits are on. It's still drying, so I'm not going to pick it up at this stage. And uh, it did go together pretty easy. I just stuck these three pillars together as a, as a single thing. I then stuck them on. I stuck these two pillars together with this bit of flooring in the middle. So that gave a nice right angle. So that was perfect. 
and then that went on uh, to this bit of wall that was stuck on here. I then stuck this bit of flooring on to there and there's a little gap but that's not too bad. Um, but my best piece of advice for this whole kit is get your floors to make sure they line up, do them first and make sure they're level and that will give you a good guide for the shape of the walls if you're building it in this shape uh, anyway uh, to get it at this shape so get these bits in first and build everything else around them there are some gaps I can see which are formed which will need some green stuff going in I'm going to have to get some more green stuff and fill them in but now I have to wait for this to dry and then I'll be back with you probably just to show you a full 360 of it so we'll see you in a moment Okay, so here we are, the finished oculum. Ooh. There it is. Left that overnight to have a bit of a dry and stuff. The green stuff's now completely dry. It's probably sturdy now. Yeah, that's good. And just for scale purposes, there it is one of the liberators. He sits in the in the oculum there. Cool. You can see that. Whoa. 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 Oh, he's gone. Let's go. You pushed off the edge. Yep. There we go. You can fight the uh, Chaos General there. <laughs> but yeah, so the cons of this, we'll start with the cons. Mm -hmm. oh, there goes the glue. Um, it's not the easiest thing in the world to put together, as you'll see. It's a bit faffy. I was screaming a couple of times because things weren't going. Yeah. Um, my advice is to actually. I did dry fit everything, but even if though I dry fit everything, it still wasn't quite where it should be. Um, my advice is to stick these bits on first, line it up with them, and then perhaps do this big, the actual Oculus part last. And you could actually stick the whole thing together as an, as, a, as an orb and then stick it on. Mm. It might be a bit more difficult or it might not be a lot easier, it depends. If I ever did another one that's probably how I would do it. Um, it's, it's not the best sort of quality kit I've seen. Mm, there's a few bits where you yeah. can hold it up to the light and you can see through you it. It's see. very thin. Yeah. Um, as far as like construction goes it's not the best quality kit. And it's it's quite basic on some of the details, like on this, but it is scenery, and a lot of scenery is like that. That said, the Dragon Fate Dias I was very impressed with. Yeah, I'd say we're more impressed with the Dragon Fate Dias than that. But just for quality. Yeah. However, uh, pros overall, now it's together, I think it looks amazing, and I really like it. It's um, unusual. It's, it's an unusual piece of scenery. actual scenery, but um, in the game terms, you know, you're obviously going to be having a model study here or near here, and I think they get like bonuses to cast mm. magic and stuff. Um, if I actually, read the description. Yeah, yeah. Any wizard within three inches of a numinous oculum can drop on the arcane power within it and add one to the result of any casting or unbinding rolls that the wizard makes. And wizards that are in three inches of the globe on a numinous oculum can attempt to cast the peer. Piercing the Veil spell, in addition mm -hmm. to any other spells they are normally allowed to attempt in their hero phase. Piercing the Veil has a casting value of 5. If the spell is successfully cast, then um, the caster gets a glimpse into the future and the ability to manipulate fate. You can change the result of any one dice roll made for the caster or another friendly model to the result of your choosing until the next hero phase. It also has a zone of nullification. Roll a dice if a unit is affected by an enemy spell within six inches of this model. On the roll of five or more, the spell is drained by the eldritch power of the numinous oculum. It has no effect on that unit, though it can still affect other units that were targeted by the spell. The nullification roll is made after any attempt to unbind the spell. So it gives you magical defence and a magical boost. So it's very good, actually. Cool. So, rules wise, it's really good. I really like the unusual nature of it because I've never seen anything quite like this. Mm. And this, this, I just, I just love it. It's really cool. But I'm glad I've got one. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure I'll get another one. I was planning on getting two and doing them slightly different shapes. But, um, I mean, if I did, I'd, 
I've got some experience now about to build it and I would put these bits on first, line it up, then put the base on, and then probably put this bit on last. Mm. I wouldn't follow the order it does it in the uh, the guide anyway. But overall, if you can if you if you're good at modelling, it won't be much of a problem. Um it's just it's been a while since I've put anything together that's been this uh Faffy. <laughs> yeah. I think you said about eight years ago. Yeah. You put something together that was faffy. I can't remember. I can't remember what that was. I remember it's been a long time since I've been swearing so much anyway. Um, but you saw that was all off camera anyway. So. You know. Yeah, we're just sat on the brick now. The yeah. house came down. Yeah. <laughs> the loudest profanity in history, I think, at one point. Um, Anyone who sees The Simpsons will know what I mean by that. Um, right, so that's it really. So thanks for watching this. I hope this has been informative anyway. Um, mm -hmm. And I hope whether you, it might help you decide whether to get one or not if, if you are confident to put it together. Mm. And then it's a very cool piece of terrain. Um, and there yeah. we go. Yeah. Otherwise, if, if you're new to this and you're not really that sort of like... Au okay. fait. Or Faye with modelling in general, and you don't have the green stuff, and you don't have that. And the other. Mm. I think if you get like the Dragon Fate Dias or something like that, that might be a lot easier to do. Because if you watch our video we did on that on Saturday, that, that was just a breeze. that was literally uh, it's like putting a Lego kit together, it was like three pieces, or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was hardly any half at all. No. Um, but cool. So, mm -hmm. as I said, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, it helps us out loads. And uh, take care, guys. We'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.